Hi YouTubers, it's Princess2969 checking in with all the lovely divas in YouTube land. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on a very tragic and sad moment that has taken place in um, yesterday's events. Um, Michael Joseph Jackson, um, the entertainer that we have all grown to know and love as Michael Jackson, has passed away at the age of 50. He died around 2.35 yesterday afternoon or something like that. Um, I didn't get the news until I was on my way to my evening job and I heard it on the radio and I was in total shock. Um, he is an icon and a legend, someone that I grew up to listening, you know, listening to. Um, his music has transcended barriers and, you, you know, different races and he's touched and affect every, affected everyone um, throughout three, four generations throughout the whole world. There will never be another entertainer like him, and there never was one, you know, before him. And he will be greatly missed. Um, you have to excuse me because I was very upset and very saddened by the tragic news, and I have to admit I did cry. <laughs> um, not only do we share the date, same birth date, um, I felt like we, in a sense, had a spiritual connection because he was a humanitarian who loved to touch people through his acts of kindness as well as his music. And um, I can relate to that. So this is someone that I adored when I was growing up and I listened to him. So my heart is truly broken and my condolences goes out to his friends and family and his fans around the world. Um, the first item that I picked up is um, Wet n Wild's Eye Makeup Remover. Um, and as you can see, you have to excuse you know the way I look. It is now like 4.30 in the morning. So I'm just doing this haul and I have no makeup on. So I know I look a horrible mess. <laughs> But um, this is um, Wet n Wild's Eye Makeup Remover. Um, it's very gentle, to, to tell you the truth. It removes even the most stubborn mascaras, liners, sh eyeshadows. And um, I wear waterproof mascara most of the time, so I found that this works very good for my waterproof mascara. And it only costed me $1.99 for this bottle from Walgreens, so I really, really like this. It has like a soft smell of lavender in it. It's hypoallergenic. Pomologists have tested this for safe use on the eyes and it's very gentle. Um, it's, um, it's gentle for contact lens wearers as well as um, sensitive eyes. And you just moisten a cotton ball and you just rub it over the eye a couple of times and it removes and dissolves the eye makeup with no problem. It has chamomile in it also so it's very soothing and it smells really really good. So I picked that up from Walgreens. I also picked up Wet n Wild's Mega Sparkle and Confetti. This is really pretty. It's um, number 776A. And I believe that this color is called Lilac Frosting. Yeah. And it's a really, really pretty glittery sparkle. You can see a little bit of it right there without me having to spill it over inside the jar. It's a little bit on top, but you can see the little reflex right there. It's really pretty. I use this to, you know, do like a little festive look over my eyeshadow color and it came out really, really great. Um, I also picked up um, NYC Lips Glosses, Lip Gloss in Cappuccino. This is a really pretty color, as you can see. And the color is really, really moisturizing. It, it gives like a thick, gooey consistency, but it's real pretty if you can see that. Um, I can swatch it on my hand right there. And it's really, really pretty. It's almost like a frosty mocha, tannish beige kind of color. Um, I, I tried it on and it's really, really pretty. This is an all-time standby favorite for me. I picked this up from CVS. It's um, by Milani. It's number 11, Black Cherry. It's a deep, rich chocolate, almost black brown color. I love this for a dramatic lip when I want to do a minimal eye and I want to do a dramatic lip. And because my lips are full, this this comes off really, really well. So this color is really, really pretty. So I picked up another one of these tubes. I hadn't picked up one of these in a while. I also picked up Wet n Wild's Ultimate Minerals Bronzer Blush. Um, I got this for $2.99 from Walgreens. And the color is Amber Glow. This is so freaking pretty. I swatched it on my hand. And then, you know, because I have yet to wear it, I just purchased it today. Um... But I swatched it on my hand, and it's such a gorgeous, shimmery, bronzy, kind of pink, amber color. It's like an in-between color between amber and pink. Okay, this color, like I said, 
It's really pretty. You have to shake some of it up towards the top. I was opening it up from the opposite end. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, this color is really, really pretty. Um, it looks like that, if you can see it right there on the wrist. Not, not that. That's the lip color that I had on there. It's like right up in here, if you can see that. It's so pretty. You, you really, really have to like get a good look at it um, up close and personal. But it's so pretty. Um, like I said, it's it's called Amber Glow. It's a bronzing mineral blush. And like I said, I only spent two ninety nine for this, so this is really pretty. Um, the other products I picked up was LA Colors Glossy Lip Sheer Lip Gloss in Fruit Punch. I got this from the dollar store. It's it's really really pretty. I mean, like when you put it on the lips, it's like a reddish type of tint, like with a little orange undertones in it with glitter. Um, I also picked up a Jane B Pure Mineral Blush in Rose Satin from Walgreens, and it looks like this. And that color is, you know, gorgeous. And it's soft. I like to use this as a highlighting blush or at, on the top of the apples on my cheeks. So this is a good highlight contour because it's such a light color. But it's soft and pretty. I also have two NYX lip glosses that I bought from CherryCulture.com. I had already said that I was going to um, show these off in a beauty spree or a haul um, once I got the products in. And I did. I got one in gold. And then the other one is African Queen. I love this one. I haven't worn gold since like the early 90s. This is like a throwback color for me when, you know, us black girls used to do like the black lip liner and then we fill it in with the gold and don't even blend in the black. But I, I like to do this with a brown pencil now so it can look more natural. But that color is pretty and I love this pink. This one is going to I previously showed off this color in a tutorial that I did called Tropical Punch. This one is called Sinful Colors. Um, number 224 in Yearning, and it's so gorgeous. It's like a deep mauve purple, and I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it's really, really pretty. I can swatch it on my wrist real quick, and that way you can see what it looks like. But that's the color right there, and it's so pretty. Um, I also have a Milani Runway Eyes Fashion Shadows on um, Quint Quad in Hot Couture. And I love Milani's eyeshadow colors. These are gorgeous. This has like two shades of different colored purples in here. A pink, a green, yellow, and a frosted white. I've already, as you can tell, I already dug into it. I wore this the other day in a look. And these colors are just beautiful. I noticed something about this. You have to do like an eyeshadow base behind these because they don't show up as well as the other quad that I have, which is a Fashionista, Fashionista's Pink. From CherryCulture.com, I picked up a NYX Diamond Sparkle Lipstick in Sparkling Orchid. And the color is gorgeous. As you can tell, I'm a pink freak. If I'm not doing neutrals or browns, I'm doing a lot of pinks. This color is really pretty. And I've already worn it like um, on one or two different occasions. So, this color is beautiful. And I love that one. Um, from CherryCulture.com, I also picked up some NYX Famous, the ever so infamous NYX Pencils. I got three of them. This one is black bean, this one is milk, and this one is strawberry milk. So I only got three for right now, but I will plan on purchasing more. And I also got a NYX eye pencil in extreme black, as you can see. So I picked those up from Cherry Culture. Last item I want to show off is something I got from RockTheCatWalk.com. Um, thanks to Risha, prices that I decided to do just a little trial order so I only ordered one item but I had ended up getting a Too Faced cupcake palette and this is really really gorgeous I love the colors in it it comes in a cute little package and it looks like a little book and it opens up and the colors inside are just gorgeous um, there are two lip gloss colors in, in this palette up here at the top this is like a transparent bubblegum pink. It's so pretty. I had it on my lips um, just recently. And then these are two eyeshadow colors here. Very pigmented. Um, the, and then this is the blush in this compact. So you get an all-in-one face palette inside this little compact book. And I thought it was so cute. And I got it for only $9.99. The shipping and handling was amazing. It was only $2.99. So I got this little cupcake palette. So I bid you all adieu. It's late, and like I said, I'm still mourning the loss of one of the greatest 
icon of the legends that you know, musical legends of our time that when I was little I thought I was going to marry that man because I was so in love with Michael Jackson so my heart is truly broken at this tremendous loss it is, um, you can also go to my MySpace page for my nail business which is www.myspace.com slash fierce fingernails all one word all lowercase f-i-e-r-c-e-f-i-n-g-e-r-n-a-i-l-z I was very upset when I found out so you have to excuse you know the way I look right now because I'm not gonna lie I cried like a little girl <laughs> okay I will see you guys later good night divas bye